Hey and welcome to another Ballet Wake tutorial. This time, as requested by over 200 votes, we'll do the Pixar intro, as you can see it here. What you'll need? Blender. You can get this from the blender.org website. The template files. Download these from the link in the description. And After Effects. CS4 or higher. After you downloaded the zip folder, make sure you extract it before you begin. Then open up the folder and the .blend file. Make sure your mouse is in the 3D view and then press tab. Delete this title and then enter your desired title. Then press tab again. This title will have to fit into the render rectangle, which you can see here. In this case, part of the A and the J would have been cut off. To adjust this, we'll have to change the character spacing value down here. Change this until the top of one of your letters matches the top of the stationary L here. When you've got that, right click on the L to select that. Then press tab and change it to the matching letter. Press tab again and then select the main title again by right clicking on it. Now as you can see it doesn't fit perfectly yet, so we'll have to adjust that by changing the character spacing down here until it fits. Now that's perfect. Now press tab and delete that letter and replace it with a space. Press tab again. As you can see the spaces aren't uniform anymore. To adjust this, we'll change the word spacing value down here until the spaces between the letters match. Now this should be okay. Perhaps a little more. Here we go. Now to change the subtitle, right click Productions up here, then press Tab and change this to the subtitle you want. Then press Tab again. Now you'll have to change the frame number from 100 to 225. Press enter. Now adjust the location of the subtitle so that it is located just below the last letter of your word. You can do this by left clicking and dragging on the green arrow. Make sure none of the letters from the main title are overlapping the subtitle. So this would be an ideal position. Now press the I key and insert a location keyframe by left clicking on location. When you are satisfied with the looks of your title, go into the renders tab which you can see up here with a little camera icon and then click animation. This will render 300 separate PNG files in a please folder. This can take some time as it has to compute all the shadows so be patient. For me it takes around an hour for this to render. When Blender has finished rendering you will end up with a lot of PNG files with green background in the please folder. Now open up the Pixar After Effects file in After Effects. While this is loading I'd like to give a quick shout out to those of you who are re-uploading my intros. Making these intros and recording the tutorials take quite a lot of time, so I'd be glad if you could credit me when you re-upload the intros. Inside After Effects, you will have to select the Pixar composition, then click Composition, Add to Render Queue, click on Lastless, then change the format to H.264, check Audio Output, click OK, then choose your saving location by clicking on the Pixar.mp4, and then click Render. Your intro will now render, this should take a few minutes, and then you've got your own Pixar intro. I hope you liked this tutorial, like and subscribe, and see you again soon for another tutorial. Bye. Oh, and for those who haven't seen it yet, I've posted a small vlog. Click the vlog annotation down here to see that, or else there's a link to more tutorials up here and more intros up here.